Hello, gamers! My name is Dark John, and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Igniter SMP. All right, so in today's episode, uh, we need to go speak to our neighbor, Dippy Blether, because if you remember last time, um, she started fiddling with my creeper farm and it blew up, it backed up and exploded all over my base. So we need to go and uh, have a word with her and make sure she doesn't do that again. Also, uh, we're going to continue work on the mega base because last episode we put in a storage system, which we'll go check out in a minute, and we moved out of this gorgeous little base behind us. This is our starter base, and uh, in between episodes I have been moving everything over from the starter base to the mega base, and the storage system is now fully operational. So we're pretty empty in here. The storage and everything I had in storage down here, it's all empty. Everything's gone now, all of these chests are completely empty and everything has been moved over. I just did it manually in the end because I needed to come over here to get one of each item to populate the filters in the first place anyway for the whitelist and uh, in doing so I just brought everything over because it was silly just to bring one of everything and go back and forth so it's all done. Everything was moved, manual was easy enough, I only had so much stuff and um, yeah we're officially moved out of this place. And we're going to continue to work on the mega base this episode by putting in some new buildings, at least one new building, and it's going to have a purpose as well. So let's head on down. And uh, whoa! What? What is this? <laughs> What has Dippy done? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Dippy. Dippy Blether. Ah. Check it out. There's the culprit. Uh huh. Okay, that's pretty funny, i got to admit. Now that is really good, but uh, we can't have that playing the whole time we're trying to record. That's crazy. There we go, that'll stop it for the interim. Let's just put that right there. That's very good, Dippy. Thank you for the song. I'm sorry you don't like paying rent, but um, I didn't choose to build on someone else's land. You did. That We're going to have to add that to the list of things we're going to go speak to Dippy about, because... Uh, yeah, this was the other thing right here, right? The last episode, we found out that she'd been dabbling with the creeper farm. She had blocked the output on the other side and caused this horrific backup. And the alarm was going off. There was more musical madness going on in there. This needs dealing with, so we need to tidy this up. And um, we're going to put another building right next to this one here today. And that is going to be for a sugarcane farm. So yeah, this guy was our gunpowder farm. And right next to it, we're going to put the sugarcane farm. And using the two of those, we can make our own personal supply of rockets going forwards. Because obviously we use quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we've been spending quite a lot to get them. So that will just make us self-sufficient. And nothing crazy. Again, just uh, personal supply levels of stuff. And I've already done a lot of material gathering. We've got a whole bunch of materials here. This is going to be another pretty um, interesting build. A lot like this one in a similar theme. We'll do that a little later on though. We've got to, let's catch you up on all the other things we've been doing. You see over there, there's a portal way over there. That is temporary. That is how I'm getting in and out of this place currently because I am now chunk loading the storage system. I did find that if I left the area when it was doing its thing, it's possible for it to sort of break basically. It needs to finish doing things. It is quick and you don't have to wait long, thankfully, for it to do its thing. So out of an abundance of caution, we've got a chunk loader here. And this is at um, Y level zero here in the overworld and it's at the same level in the nether. So it's at the very bottom of the nether. But that meant my portal that I had in a more convenient location up here was constantly taking me to the chunk loader. So the chunk loader is more important right now. We've put one over there. I can probably sort this out by simply raising the portal up in the air, but we're already quite low down in the world here. Where are we? 48. I think we need to get up to like level 74 or something like that up here in order for a portal somewhere around here to connect to the one on another roof consistently. So 
Yeah, we may need to put the portal inside like a building high up, perhaps. We'll look into that later, but for now, temporary portal way over there. And yes, the storage system is chunk loaded and uh, fully populated. So as you can see, I've labeled everything. We've got dirt and then the muds and all the woods and things, then all the stone types and everything and glass and wool and ice and magma, etc. And then, you know, rails and redstones and bone mill and books and foods and drops and all the bits and pieces all being filtered. It took an absolute age to set all this up, but it is working and I am so happy with this. All that uh, material gathering I did up here must have taken like at least two to three times less time than it usually does because everything is in one place. It's so neatly organized. I know exactly where to go for what I want and any excess stuff I don't need. I just drop back into the chest right behind me here and that gets sorted super quick without me needing to do any manual placement. I'm very happy about that. Also added a second elevator around the side here for me because you do need to get around the back here kind of frequently when you realize you've missed something and um, you know update the filters and things white this and uh, drop the unnecessary bits in there and we had a big old chest monster back here from digging the hole we had tons and tons of materials and lots of chests and shulkers and things all of which have been tidied up and everything's been neatly put away and we're bulk storing a lot more items now so cobble and stone gravel deep slate blackstone blackstone bricks diorite sand dirt granite all of which we are uh, now shock loading into box storage and still got lots more room there to expand in the future for other things that we want to get a lot of. So I think it's about time we go, went and saw our neighbor Dippy Blether because we need to have words. Okay so we're gonna go see Dippy now and see what she has to say about uh, all the noise that we've been getting inside the base. Oh, Dippy? Landlord. Mr. Landlord. Tenants. Tenants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. So, first of all, this machine is broken. I don't even know where it is anymore. I, it's, well, it's, it's right where I left it. Some Somebody uh, encased it in something for yeah, an event okay. that is long past and, you know. It's it's my pet chicken. Just don't 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 diss my pet chicken. Rent is due. There we go. Yes. Insert uh, one diamond block. You didn't follow the instructions, Dippy. Your landlord. I next. left the money in your base. Yeah, but with you need a, you need to put nice it in the rent matic That's what the rent a matics there for. The rent is currently not accessible, and also it's a very well, that's, annoying that's thing. That's not my it fault. Dis <laughs> it disturbs it disturbs the llama. It, it disturbs the llamas. Look at them. Look look at this llama there. Look how how distressed it looks. Can you see that? How it's like jumping about? Yeah, it's, it's an azalea thing. Yeah, they don't like those. They're poisonous. They make them go delusional. You, you had your rent for last month, but it's nearly the next month, and um, and the llamas would like some peace and quiet. Yeah, it needs to go in their intermatic, and it turns. It, that's what it's there for. It's just. Well, it's all I, I, I would like you. I would like you to dismantle the rentomatic because you have polluted the environment. I had to completely clean up my spa because of your stupid creeper sludge slime thing and, <laughs> and yeah that was that, that was, was, that was outside the, the bounds llamas, of the, uh, the llama llamas sanctuary started running away they actually were swimming away they were they, they, they were <laughs> fleeing it, that's just not funny you're laughing about this it's you think it's, this it's is because funny? they've got poisonous azalea bushes in there it's look, driving them crazy look, if if you were a decent landlord you would even give me a rebate but all i'm asking is that you take this machine away and also can i please pay the next 12 months of rent in advance. There you go. 12, 12 months? Yes. Rent the next due. year. Ah! Insert turn, one it turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Where is, where is the input? It's over here. We can put in the diamond block straight into here and turn it off for the time being. There we go. Yeah, it is now um, the beginning of June. Please do not contact me anymore until next year. <laughs> okay, well, please. yeah, we, we have uh, rent paid up. That's, that's good. Um, yeah. Yes, and please, please take that machine off and stop it making this noise. I've just put the diamond block in there and it, that would have disabled it for the time being. And I won't re-enable it because, yeah, you've already paid up front. That's good news. I was thinking oh. of, uh, you know, I, I heard you came into a lot of, um, a lot of, money recently and uh um, yeah i was thinking maybe maybe one diamond block isn't enough oh 
Maybe it's enough. Maybe it's enough. One diamond block is probably enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Um. Uh. So can we shake on that? I. 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 We have a new taco bun. Have you tried them? They're very good. Oh, I haven't. Tacos. Check it out. Yes, tacos. Okay. So uh, over over this over this taco because it's kind of you know I know tacos are kind of Mexican and llamas are from South America but I think they have tacos in South America. So I feel this is an appropriate food to celebrate our rent is due. Oh. Please insert one diamond block. I'll sort that out in a minute. Don't worry. Your landlord thanks you. <laughs> Can I, I have my taco happens. back? <laughs> I want my taco back. I need, to, I need to go tackle. digging to go I turn this you, thing off. I told you this machine is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dr. Oh. John, mm -hmm. make the noise stop, please. And also, um, yeah, no more, no more pollution, please. Mm. Please, no more pollution. I have, a, I have a plan for that. I'm going to uh, install a creeper sludge filter, so we should have perfectly clean okay. water coming out of the farm going onwards, and it won't be backing up into my um, base anymore amazing. because, because that's... That was a Spot thing. Was disgusting. Finding yeah. finding my my creeper farm exploded and oh my goodness, inside the base and the song Dippy the song, oh my goodness. Yeah, well, was it not nice? Was it not nice? The, the llamas really tried hard. <laughs> it was it was kind of nice. Did, yeah. I did appreciate yeah, the song. The llamas, the llamas did a they practiced. They kind of went into their little recording studio and they actually did that for you. And I thought, you know, I thought you might like that. I did. Nobody would call you a greedy guy. <laughs> wouldn't. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to make try. I'm going to make it a bit more environmentally friendly. Uh, you've paid okay. for rent up Thank front for a whole year. That's good news. Yes. And um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go turn this thing off right now because clearly it's not working properly. It's probably because there's a giant chicken surrounding it. That's obviously affecting its function. This landlord relationship is slightly strained. <laughs> Let me go and turn okay. that off for you. Thank you for the rent payment up front. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can just be good neighbors from now on. Yes. Yes. Maybe. I hope you so. Hope yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you too. See you soon, Dippy. Right, let's go and turn this off. Not sure what's going on there. Might be something to do with the chicken. I'm turning the machine off. It's gone. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I think it's about time to get on and progress with the base. So we're going to hop into a time lapse here and we are going to make a sugar cane farm. Let's do it. That is the uh, naked robotic core of our sugarcane farm here. So let me just give you a little quick rundown of this because I am about to uh, put a building around this to hide it. And um, it's going to make it very difficult to show what it actually does because I'm quite pleased with this little design. It's a Dark John original for how to stack and collect everything. And I think it's about to go off which is great. So as you can see, the sugarcane has been growing while we have been working. Most of these are too high already, which is great. And we've got 10 plants per layer and one, two, three, four, five, five layers, 50 plants, plenty for our individual needs. So how does this work? Well, um, typical observer firing piston trick, but uh, we've only got one observer here that looks for the growth and it hasn't grown yet it's about to grow any second when this individual plant gets the three high the whole system will go off that uh, fires this line which breaks all of these that sees that passes the signal background to that side uh, this sees that passes it upwards to here which does it on this layer and passes upwards to here and here as you can see and uh, that goes all the way up to the top and then our collection system is with all these rails in between. So we have a dispenser here. Inside here is Hopper with a minecart, and that gets triggered when this observer line gets triggered. 
That will send out the minecart zipping along here, collecting everything that breaks above. And then it drops down to here, circles around, goes down, drops down, circles around, drops down, diddle, diddle, and down to here, at which point it gets yeeted into uh, this guy and all of the items get collected. So the minecart will get recycled, go into this water stream, taking it all the way back to the very top and into the dispenser again, and then all of away, it did it. There we go. Where's our minecart? There it goes. Drop down, drop down, drop down, and yeet. Fantastic. There's our first batch of sugarcane ready to go. Let's just double check. There shouldn't be any lying around. It's all been collected. Perfect. And uh, yeah, it'll just do that on its own. We don't have minecarts running all the time, which I hate the noise and the lag that that creates. So we just deploy the minecart when we need it. And with a single minecart collects everything from the entire farm and we'll deposit it down here. We need to put in some storage of some kind. There we go, 48, we nearly got a stack in a single run. And that'll just tick away in the background and do its thing. So I'm very happy with that. And we're gonna crack on with the next phase of this and decorate it. We're gonna put a building around this and make it feel like it's gonna fit in with our build palette that we've got going on in the base. Let's do it. Okay, another building is in and uh, yeah, pretty pleased with this one again. Let's take a little look. So keeping it in the theme of uh, the existing building, I'm gonna change these up a bit. I don't want them all to look too identical. This was meant to be quite a bit more red than this one. Well, it's kind of taking this scheme of red on top and browns below and, and flipping it. But um, the underlying theme of the whole civilization is it's been here a while. There's gonna be this uh, type of architecture around, which is like the underlying foundational stuff that's older, on top of which newer buildings have been built. So as you can see here, I'm trying to show that there was previously like an entrance here, and perhaps this is all part of one connected building, and now it's two. <laughs> and yeah, this uh, got a bit of a bamboo-y theme going on down below there, and going up to a second level, here with some windows, then a balcony, and then the roof. Oh, and not in the time lapse as well. Look, I made a granite tree. There was this big blob of granite in the wall, and it, it was kind of just nice and round. So I thought I'd do something with it and make a little bit of a tree out of the top of it that just sort of sits on top of the building there. And I really think that adds something. And um, yeah, getting quite experimental with the blocks using some of this mushroom stem, but doing a thing where you put other mushroom stem next to it and then break it and it gives you that sort of spotted mushroom texture and doing that all around, really like that. Also adding a bit of foliage and greenery and um, yeah, really playing around with stuff like the new copper blocks and the pots and uh, yeah, a whole range of colors, just trying to get a little bit of uniqueness in and around this thing. And uh, yeah, little things like a little water area with some reeds, very, very happy with how this turned out. Trying a few things with signs and carpets and the pots and carpets and things just to add a bit of variation around wherever possible. And this is how we get into the inside of the farm, which we saw being built earlier. And while we've been building that, we've been collecting some of this. Let's see how much we got. Not too shabby, five and a bit stacks. Happy with that. So the obvious next thing we're gonna do is gonna be a rocket factory. And the idea being, we're going to take the output from our creeper farm over here, and the output is collected right here. And we're gonna combine that with the output from here, and probably in a building right next door. Up here, we'll bring all those materials to all collate into one place, right over here somewhere, and we'll make ourselves a rocket factory. And that is where we can 
probably also craft our rockets and have them made by the shulker load. So I'll always have a couple of shulkers on hand and whenever I have an empty shulker of them, I usually keep those in my, in my ender chest here. So there's my rockets. I'll just have a couple of these ready to go and I'll just swap out the old for the new and the inserting of an old empty shulker box will automate the uh, addition of new automatically crafted rockets and a new box being filled up. I think that could work pretty well. So the last thing to do this episode is to clean up this big old mess behind us here. And uh, the way we're going to do this is by going a little bit green. Yeah, Stippy has started to rub off on me and her ecological ways. We are going to try putting in a creeper sludge filter on the back side of this thing. Uh, therefore, it will basically filter out all the creeper sludge and allow the output to just be natural, pure, clean water. And uh, that should hopefully not bother our neighbours. Of course, that comes out over here. This is the creeper sludge pipe where the sludge exits. So we just need to make sure we install the filter in here. And then that should reinstate. Oh, wow. It's already recovering really well, this environment. Look at all this foliage. But having the river restored will help keep all of this new foliage hydrated. So that'll work out really well. And uh, then it can all feed down into this and we shouldn't need the, uh, the filter any longer after that. So let us see what we can do about uh, making this place come back to life a little bit. Dippy, Dippy, are you in? Hello. Where's the doorbell? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello ding dong. Anyone here? Landlord, landlord. Where, hey, where is he? Where I'm is, over oh, here. Hello, hi. Hello. I've got hello. something to show you. Um, you've got something to show me. It was this thing you wanted to show me. Sorry, there's such a jungle here. After we filled all that that stuff with the, the llama poop, it kind of, yeah. Yeah, I guess life so, kind of finds a way, but uh, everything's yeah, growing so back what, what? pretty aggressively. And um, yeah, so, the llama poop has so been removed. What is it you, wanted to, you wanted to show me something. What is it? Yeah, what this, is this? This, is, this is a creeper sludge filter. So we still got creeper sludge coming out of the farm out the back, but this is a very advanced filtration mechanism that's removing it all. And right. we've just got crystal clear, lovely bathable water coming straight wow. out the front. Isn't that better? I, I, can, I, can I have a little sniff? Go for it. You because, could drink it. Yeah, this is drinkable. Oh, I, I wouldn't go as far as that. You might turn into something green and <laughs> explode or something. Yeah, um, yeah, it smells good, actually. Yeah, because I, I did have a, a, a an accidental bath in, in your creeper sludge and, oh, it was not good. Yeah, that's really, not advisable. No, no, it was not good. Yeah, I don't want to sound smug, right? But can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Why did you not do this in the first place, you hooligan? <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't necessary. This was my land, and it was it was clear of the llama but sanctuary. It's, it was. It's it's the environment. It's like, I mean, I, I assume you're not the sort of person who walks around the countryside dropping litter everywhere, right? Well, no, is, no, but progress, thing. Dippy. And you know, we have to have to uh, have uh, yeah. we have to have creepers, and we need to farm the creepers in order to get the gunpowder, well, so you can fly that, around the world. And um, that's okay. That's sometimes okay. that just I has can... a natural output oh. that needs to be dealt yeah, with. That's, that's that's okay. That's okay. I have no problems with uh, with gunpowder and creeper farms because creepers are a pest. Well, hopefully this um, settles things, and you know, now we have a nice clean river this again. This is amazing. Good. This is amazing. Thank you. Pleasure. I, thank you. I, I, yeah. This is this is. See, you are a technical genius. You should use that big brain of yours for for good stuff. You know, like <laughs> you know, proper good stuff. Cause, Cause you're smart. You well, can do this. You can become a better industrialist. You we can. shall see. More industrialization yes. is going to be occurring. So yeah, we'll see how it progresses. Okay. Maybe Dark John um, Enterprises needs a, um, in, a minister of environmental preservation or something in the future. Well, you can come to your you can come to your neighbour who's paid all her rent uh, for advice and mm -hmm. encouragement anytime you want. Wonderful. All right. And yeah. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for sharing this with me. That's that's amazing. I love that <laughs> machine. Yeah. Okay. All right. amazing. Thanks, Tippy. Okay. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Wow. Okay.
Oh yeah, that is so much better. Check it out. No more backed up creeper farm. Everything is back to normal as it should be. Nice stone bottom of the base here and uh, a fresh palette on which to build, which is exactly what we need. Hopefully our neighbors will be happy with the changes we made and now we're no longer polluting the river, then uh, the llamas should be happy. We'll just have to wait and see what other industrial things we need to do in the area that may um, have you know, an impact on the environment. But we're industrialists. We just plow ahead one way or the other. We've got to make progress after all. And uh, there's still a lot of progress to make. As you can see in this area, there is tons and tons of space. As we just talked about, we're going to be putting in a uh, firework rocket factory behind us here and a whole lot more next episode. So if you like this one, please do give us a like. If you want to support the channel, there's some thanks links and donation stuff below as well. Become a member and uh, you can join my members only server. Uh, more about that coming soon. And uh, yeah, subscribe because there's so much more to do. As we keep saying, this entire place is going to get filled up with a city at some point and it's going to take a long time. We're here for the long term. It's going to be fun. So come join us and take care. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now.